Hello, welcome to today's maths lesson with me, Mr. Frederick. Today we are going to convert kilograms to grams. Remember to recall that one kilogram equals a thousand grams and use that effect to make simple conversions and use decimal places where you can. Make sure you have pencil and paper, so if you're ready, we shall begin. Here we have a scale which starts at zero kilograms and ends at two kilograms. Can you see the halfway mark where one kilogram is indicated? Also between zero kilograms and one kilogram where 0 0.5 is indicated. Additionally, between one kilogram and two kilograms where 1.5 is indicated. Can you determine the value of each increment? The increment is each of the individual marks along the scale. Pause now, write down what you think it is. Each increment measures 100 grams, which is equal to 0 0.1 kilogram, or one tenth of a kilogram. Did you get that correct? Well done. Can you see the mass of 100 grams has been placed on the scale? Can you see the red dot has moved to the first increment? What do you think will happen if we add another 100 grams? That's right. If we add another 100 grams, or 0 0.1 kilogram, you can see the red dot has moved along or around the scale to the next increment. This now measures 200 grams or 0.2 kilograms or two tenths of a kilogram. We can continue adding 100 grams or a tenth of a kilogram and see the red dot progress along or around the scale to the next increment at 300. Another 100 grams takes us to 0.4 kilograms or 400 grams. Another 100 grams takes us to half a kilogram, or 0 0.5 kilograms, and so on. Now, have your pencil and paper ready. What reading does both scales show? Pause the video and write down your answer. Did you write 0 0.9 kilograms or 900 grams? If you did, well done. Ready for another? What reading does both scales show? Pause the video and write down your answer. Did you put 1.3 kilograms or 1,300 grams? I'm sure you did. I bet you want to have another go. Are you ready? This one's easy. What reading does both scales show? Pause the video and write down your answer. That's right. One and a half kilograms or 1.5 kilograms or 1,500 grams. Well done. Now let's look at something slightly different. Have your pencil and paper ready. Here we have a table with the mass partitioned into kilograms and grams. The first column is where the whole kilograms are recorded. After the decimal point, we have tenths and then hundredths of a kilogram, which we record in grams. Remember, one tenth of a kilogram is 100 grams and a hundredth of a kilogram is 10 grams. Let's insert some digits. Three whole ones, six tenths, and five hundredths. Let's look at the mass 3.65 kilograms. What is the value of the three? That's right, the value of the three is three kilograms. So what is the value of the six? Correct, the value of the six is 0 0.6 kilograms. And what is the value of the five? Well done, the value of the five is 0 0.05 kilograms. Now write down how many grams there are in three kilograms. Did you put 3,000 grams? Great, well done. So how many grams in 0 0.6 kilograms? Write it down. That's correct, 600 grams, well done. Now write this down. How many grams in 0 0.05 kilograms? That's right, it's only 50 grams. So now we know that 3.65 grams is equal to, so now we know that 3.65 kilograms is equal to 3,650 grams. We have converted kilograms to grams, well done. Now let's take a look at something else. Get your pencil and paper ready. Here we have 1.25 kilograms, which has been partitioned into whole kilograms, tenths of a kilogram, and hundredths of a kilogram. 
write down the value in grams for all three digits. Remember, pause the video. The value of the first digit is one kilogram. That equals a thousand grams. The second digit is 0 0.2 kilograms or 200 grams. The third digit, digit is, three, is 0 0.05 kilograms or 50 grams. I bet you got those correct. Well done. Now try this. Have your pencil and paper ready. Here we have 2.48 kilograms, which has been partitioned into whole kilograms, tenths of a kilogram, and hundredths of a kilogram. Write down the value in grams for all three digits. Remember, pause the video. Did you get them correct? If so, well done. You are making good progress. Do you want to try again? I thought so. Get your pencil and paper ready and have a go at this one. Apply the same method as before. Remember, pause the video. Write down the value of each digit in grams for 4.72 kilograms. That's great. 4 kilograms equals 4,000 grams. 0 0.7 kilograms equals 700 grams and 0 0.02 kilograms equals 20 grams. Well done, you're becoming an expert. Now get your pencil and paper ready. Here comes your first question. If you have an adult helper, you can explain your reason to them. Now convert three kilograms to grams. Pause the video. Did you write 3,000? Remember to explain your answer. Now get your pencil and paper ready. Your second question. Remember to explain to your adult helper. Convert 6,000 grams to kilograms. Did you make it six? Well done. Okay, get your pencil and paper ready. Here comes your third question. Remember to explain to an adult helper and pause the video. Convert half a kilogram to grams. Think carefully for this one. That's right, 500. Well done. Did you remember that one kilogram equals a thousand grams and half of a thousand is 500? That's great. Okay, let's make it a little harder. Now, have your pencil and paper ready. Here comes question four. Convert two and a half kilograms into grams. Remember, pause a clip and write down your answer. Did you make it 2,500? Did you remember that you know that one kilogram equals a thousand grams and half of a kilogram equals 500? Well done. Okay, pencil and paper ready. Here comes question five. Remember to explain your answer. Give this one a go. Convert a quarter of a kilogram into grams. Remember to pause the clip. Did you make it 250? Well done. Did you remember that half of a kilogram is 500 and a quarter is half of a half? So half of 500 is 250. Well done. Pencil and paper ready? Question number six. Remember to explain your reasoning. Convert three quarters of a kilogram into grams. Apply what you know about halves and quarters. Pause the clip and explain your answer. Well done, 750. Did you remember your halves and quarters? Have a pencil and paper ready. Here comes question seven. And remember to explain your answer. Now try partitioning 1,630 grams into kilograms and grams. It's easier than you think. Remember to pause the video. Here we are, we have one kilogram because we have a thousand grams and then 630 grams after that. Did you get it correct? Well done. Pencil and paper ready? Here comes question eight. Remember to explain how you did to an adult. Try this one, 7,060 grams. Be careful when writing the amount of grams 
And remember, pause the video. We have seven kilograms, but no hundreds and only 60 grams. So the answer is six kilograms and 60 grams. Is that what you had as well? Well done. Here comes another. Have your pencil and paper ready. This is question nine. Remember to explain how you know. Convert 2.7 kilograms into grams. Remember to pause the video. Well done, 2,700 grams. You're making good progress. Pencil and paper ready? Here comes question 10. Remember to explain how you know. Convert 4.26 kilograms into grams. Pause the video. That's right, 4,260. That was easy, wasn't it? Have a pencil and paper ready? Here comes question 11. Remember to explain how you know. This one is a little bit tricky, so think carefully. Convert 3.02 kilograms into grams. And remember to pause the video. Let's have a look. We have three whole kilograms, so that's 3,000 grams, plus two hundredths of a kilogram, which is only 20 grams. So altogether, that's 3,020. Last one now, you're doing so well. Have pencil and paper ready. Here comes question 11. Remember to explain how you know. This one is a little bit tricky, so think carefully. Convert 3.02 kilograms into grams. And remember to pause the video. Let's have a look. We have three whole kilograms, so that's 3,000 grams plus two hundredths of a kilogram, which is only 20 grams. So altogether, that's 3,020. Last one now, you're doing so well. Have pencil and paper ready. Comes question 12. Remember to explain how you know. Convert 5.9 kilograms into grams. And remember to pause the video. That's right. 5,900, because we have five whole kilograms at 5,000. We have nine tenths of a kilogram, which is 900 grams. So altogether, that's 5,900 grams. Now, that's all we have time for today. Thank you for watching and participating in today's lesson. Let me know how you got on by emailing me through Purple Mesh. Goodbye, everybody.